Welcome to SmackDown, live from Tampa, Florida. I'm Jim Ross, alongside my tag team partner, Taz, and we've got some breaking news that could shake the foundation of WWE. It's huge news, JR. Seems as if Miss McMahon has decided to give SmackDown a facelift and name a new general manager. The catch? Only winners are out. A new boss? Who's it going to be? We're starting down the road to WrestleMania, folks, and get ready for a wild ride. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Approaching the ring. From Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Weighing 241 pounds. The Rated R Superstar Edge. And his opponent, from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing 255 pounds, Triple H! Here we go! Edge and Triple H. So many times, it's been about championships. But tonight, they're fighting for a title of a different sort. SmackDown General Manager. combined have won over 45 championships Three. in the defense win and got it with that impressive win edge has granted himself an audience with mr mcmahon well i don't know if i could sweet talk the boss into letting him run smackdown but i'd still love to be a fly in the wall in that meeting Mr. McMahon, do you have a minute, sir? Edge, I'm not surprised to see you. Why don't we cut to the chase? Go ahead, ask. Guilty. You got me. I do want something. I know exactly what you want. You want to become the new general manager of SmackDown. Go ahead and say it. Well, no, sir. My being here involves the GM position, but I came to recommend someone else for the job, not to ask for it myself. Hello, Mr. McMahon. You look very dapper today. I'll tell you what, Mr. McMahon. You take a minute and, um, check her references. I'm sure if you look hard enough at her, uh, 
resume, you'll find she's quite qualified to be SmackDown's new GM. Thanks for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. We're coming to you live from New Orleans with another exciting edition of WWE SmackDown. Tonight we get the first appearance by SmackDown's new general manager. Mr. McMahon's kept it a secret all week. Who's it going to be? I've given up guessing what Mr. McMahon's going to be doing around here. I would like you all to welcome SmackDown's new general manager, Maria. Thank you, Mr. McMahon. I am ecstatic about being named the new GM for this brand. I just want to assure everyone that SmackDown is in good hands. My first initiative is to leave the past behind and to inform every person on the roster that starting tonight, everyone has been given a clean slate and will be evaluated with a fresh set of eyes. This is a chance for those who have been overlooked to get the attention and recognition they claim to deserve. Of course, like everything in WWE, nothing's easy. It's put up or shut up. Thank you. Good luck tonight, Edge. I'll be rooting for you. I've got the GM in my pocket, but I still need to look good tonight. I should give a finisher to each of my opponents. The following contest is a fatal four-way scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, weighing 210 pounds, Jesse. And his opponent from Moscow, weighing 302 pounds, Vladimir Kosla. Opponent from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing 241 pounds, the rated R superstar, Edge. Here we go, with what should be a very effective four way match. And our beautiful new general manager, Maria, says she's going to be watching this one with fresh eyes. There's a joke in there, Taz, but I'm going to let it go. I was talking with Mr. Money in the Bank before the show, and Kennedy said no matter who our new general manager was, it didn't change a thing for him. He feels as long as he's got that contract, he's in the title pit. And that's the value of that briefcase. But an impressive outing is a must for the rest of these combatants. The rated R superstar defeated the game last week but stunned the WWE Universe when he nominated Maria as general manager. Edge is up to something, and I got a scary hunch. Things are going to... And an arm wrench. Look out! Oh. Drives the elbow down. Yeah. And he sends him flying to the outside. 
Got him booked. He's on wobbly legs. And it goes running. But can he keep it up? Can he keep up this performance? He's left the ring again, playing mind games with his opponent. Oh. <laughs> and Edge drives his opponent face first right to the ground. He's in big trouble. Whip! You hear that slam on the wall? <laughs> Edge might have done some serious damage there. Here it comes! And Edge smashes his opponent's face into the floor. That's gonna leave a mark. Oh, God. He's letting his opponent know who the boss is. And an Irish whip. <laughs> A hard right knee. That one got it. He hooks the leg and applies the Boston Trump. He's got that submission hole locked in. Showboat. There ain't nothing cute about that. What a wicked execution. One, two, man, talk about a timely save. A quick Irish whip. Out of the ring. What's going to happen now? There's the Irish whip. He's got an opportunity. He breaks up the pin, and the match continues. What a spear! That'll put your lights out permanently. One, two, and he breaks up the count. My gosh, there's so much on the line here. Oh man, Koslov takes a hard shot. Execution! Huge move there! That's the way you do it. Nothing like the sight of your own blood to take the fight right out of you. Irish whip! This could be three right here. One, two, three! And Edge has won it! Edge has won it! Confidence and arrogance just spews from edge but nevertheless this was a huge victory the guy's a winner plain and simple no matter what the situation he finds a way to survive It's a cool, 
winter's night here in the Lone Star State. But SmackDown's going to heat things up in a hurry. Speaking of hot, we found out Maria was our new general manager. After checking out the town last week, I wonder what's she going to do tonight. Good question, partner. I have no idea what to expect. So, did I do enough to earn your recognition and attention last night? <laughs> I'm prepared to do a lot more for you. Maria? Oh, no. Don't. Don't move. What? Why? What is it? Is it a bug or something? It's not a bug. It's this... This six-foot-five mutant growth sprouting from your neck. That thing is nasty. I'm glad you're here, Mr. Kennedy. I was about to make some matches for tonight. Edge, you can choose an opponent from last week's Fatal 4-Way match. Mr. Kennedy, you'll take on the one Edge doesn't pick. Fine with me. I'm here to compete. And I'll take on anybody. Which of the fatal four-way opponents from last week should I beat up again tonight? Mr. Kennedy won against an opponent and picked by Edge. Kennedy's got the goods, JR. That's why he's still holding money in the bank. But this was no cakewalk by any stretch. We'll see how the rated R superstar fares against his opponent later tonight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Approaching the ring, weighing 210 pounds, Jesse. Opponent from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing 241 pounds, the rated R superstar, Edge. Maria, or, or rather Edge, chose his opponent to win. It's smart of Edge to dodge the Moscow Wall. He's still trying to press on new general manager. And facing one of SmackDown's most brutal competitors is not, you know, an easy way to do it. Getting pulled back, really wrenching on that arm. The momentum is all with that man right now. And the Edgeomatic connects. Not even two. How do you think Mr. Kennedy feels about this opponent? While the Moscow Mauler's a more dangerous adversary. I'm sure Kennedy views this as an opportunity to earn a big victory over a big man. He's making One, a cover. Two, three. Edge wins. Edge got it. The rated R superstar won against his hand-picked opponent. Hey, you can't pick a much tougher opponent than him. Edge is a stand-up guy for sure.
Welcome, folks, as Smithdown steamrolls into Albuquerque. Our cameras were rolling after we went off the air last week, and we caught a little camaraderie between Edge and our general manager. That's the paparazzi for you, man, I'm telling you. Celebrities can't have a moment for themselves. Makes me sick. What can I say, Taz? People are interested in a scandal. So, the cat's out of the bag about you and Maria. You know, some people around here have been referring to what you're trying to pull as sleeping your way to the top, but not me. I look at it more like you're sleeping your way to the middle, because the top's already reserved for me. The following tag team contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, weighing 210 pounds, Jesse. And his partner, from San Juan, Puerto Rico, weighing 218 pounds, Primo. Opponent from India, standing over seven feet tall, weighing 420 pounds, the great Kali. Partner from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing 241 pounds, the rated R superstar Edge. Here we go. And what do you think, Taz? Will the ring be able to hold Kali and Edge? <laughs> Good point, they are. Kali's got a massive frame. No doubt that's colossal. And Edge, well, Edge has got a massive uh, ego. Got a book. Iris whip. And the edge o matic connects. One. And he stops the count. And he finally heads back out of the ring. Time. We might get some order in this match. Spear by Edge. The brute power of Kali and the cunning of Edge seem to be too much for these competitors. Edge and Kali Three. are just that. They did it. The team of Edge and Kali was an absolute powerhouse here in Albuquerque. There's little to debate. This team is comprised of dominant, capable superstars who will stop at nothing to attain victory. for one of WWE's flagship events. It's a flagship because of the awesome Royal Rumble match. But before that, Undertaker will challenge for Big Show's WWE Championship. With those two bulls locking horns, followed by the Royal Rumble, let's hope the ring doesn't collapse.
There's no preparing for these Royal Rumble matches. You just have to grit your teeth, clench your fists, and fight your way till the end. You have your strategy, Finley, and I have mine. But we need numbers first. Who's running this ship anyway? Royal Rumble again, huh, gents? Very exciting. I took the liberty of drawing numbers for my brand superstars already. Ooh, ouch. Tough luck on that draw, buddy. Now I'm curious, where will I enter the Royal Rumble? I hope not too early. What are you waiting for, Edge? I bet we can all guess what number you have. Don't keep us in suspense here. Show us. Hey, what do you know? Number 30. What are the odds of that? Doesn't matter what number I have. I'll be seeing you in the rumble. You and your little girlfriend can count on it. I don't think Kennedy has it in him to last the whole rumble, but if he does, I'll take great pleasure in picking him off. shot drop outside the ring unceremoniously there to the final three competitors.
Oh, that was close. And with everything we've witnessed, it now comes down to a one-on-one -on -one match. But Edge is definitely the fresher superstar. You have to think he's the favorite here. With the number 30 entry to aid him, Edge has earned his ticket to WrestleMania. This was ginormous. Edge is now guaranteed a world title shot at WrestleMania. What an amazing night we've had here in Calgary. Good night, everybody. Smackdown, emanating from Vancouver, British Columbia. This is Jim Ross, along with Taz, five days removed from the Royal Rumble. And what a show it was, JR. Smackdown's own Edge came out with the win, and Mr. Kennedy put on an inspirational performance. The rivalry between these two only seems to intensify, partner. And now Mr. Kennedy is in the ring. I'm sure most of you witnessed my performance in the Royal Rumble. It probably didn't surprise you that I almost outlasted everyone, despite starting at number one. What didn't surprise anyone was the big advantage Maria gave to her boy toy, Edge. When Maria told SmackDown superstars and fans that there'd be a clean slate with her as GM, we believed her. Turns out, she's a dirty liar. She should have her mouth washed out with soap. And when you hang out with Edge, it's good to have plenty of soap on hand. Now, we all know that the Rated R Superstar is the rash of WWE, but Maria, I thought you were smarter than that. Apparently, and this doesn't happen too often, I was wrong. A liar? I'm a liar? You need to step up, Kennedy, if you plan to make it to WrestleMania. Don't blame me or Edge for your shortcomings. Is it my fault you're not as talented as certain superstars? Am I to blame because you couldn't win at the Rumble and solidify a spot at WrestleMania? Uh, if I remember correctly, it was you who handed me the number one spot, so yeah, you are. To be blunt, you've got to perform, period. That's what you're supposed to do. That's what you've been paid to do. So tonight, you'll do just that. You've been trash-talking Edge and me all night. Well, now you get him in a tag match. Put up or shut up. Why does she keep thinking that she's punishing me by making me get in the ring? <laughs> 